second. Four lab puppies. We have four mixed lab puppies. We have a pit bull, uh, about a year old, that needs a great home. And Kenzie's about a year and a half old, and she needs a good home. Can we interview you? I see that you have awesome green painted nails. Yeah, a volunteer that painted her nails. Yep. Oh, yeah? So what's your name and what you got going on here? I'm Reverend Ron Anderson. I'm the pastor of North Star Cathedral of Hope over in Worcester. And this is our first year to come here and be a vendor, and we're just kind of testing it out. We don't have a lot of stuff, but testing it out. I see, I'm admiring very much this Michael Jackson uh, poster here now. Is this like your biggest thing here that you've got going on? It's the most expensive thing we have here. because it's. All right, and we just saw them play, so uh, how long have you guys been playing? Well, I've been writing music for about like a year, and he joined the band like a month ago, so it's been good. Uh, I've been playing trumpet like since fifth grade, but uh, I've only started playing with Phil since about August, right? Now, I heard you guys coming out with an album. Is that your own thing, or do you have some sort of record deal or something? Uh, it's our own thing. It's going to be called uh, Your Statue Will Love You, and it'll be on iTunes. And uh, once again, we're the Prevented Burial. So now you guys don't have no private jet or tour bus or anything yet? No, we're just starting out, but uh, it's yet. been going really well. Yeah. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Every year. So this is your own personal thing. This isn't like some sort of organization. This is your... Yeah, it's. I'm just a town person, and I love coming. It's fun. Last year, I sold out. Awesome. So you've made all these yourself? Uh, yes, I did. I see you're giving out free water. Yes, we are. Uh, so, And what is this uh, donations thing for? What What is that all about? Um, we're the First Congregational Church up there on the Common, and um, we promote, uh, we uh, help out different mission groups that are uh, working around the, in this area and also around the world. So it's like a charity thing? Yes, so we're giving out free waters and letting people know about the missions that are doing work out there and asking for donations to, uh, to help them, to keep them going. Now you guys come here every year for Oktoberfest? Yeah, we did it last year, right? Two years ago, yeah. Actually, the weather isn't too bad. I mean, there's still a bunch of people out here, even though the weather's kind of off and on. Yeah. But yeah, great. We get to meet a lot of people and talk to them. And um, we started a little prayer book if people need prayers or just want to have us keep them in their thoughts. You know. All right. Well, here, I'll tell you what. I will donate myself. Great, thank you. Just put it right in here. Yep. There you go. Thank you so much. And then thank you for your time. Oh, like uh, sure. So, uh, tell me your name and uh, tell me about these uh, amazing paintings that I'm, I'm looking at. Yep. My name is Chris Slater. I am uh, recently moved to Douglas a few years back. I've been drawing my whole life. i uh, just recently starting to finish all of it. Um, and this is mainly uh, a lot of abstract work, pencil, color pencil, pen, uh, anything bigger than this, obviously it's harder to show, but this is uh, first time doing anything like this, so it's a good taste to see what people think, um, get out in the public and uh, show my work a little. Have you uh, been drawing stuff like this your whole life? Yep, yep. I want to say maybe sixth grade, you start looking at stuff, finding stuff you want to copy, and then, you know, just pushing forward, you know continuing not stopping you know you gotta practice to make something good awesome well I've never seen anything this amazing in my life you are like very talented you you definitely have quite a talent I must say thank you, um, thank you very much for your time so uh, what's your name and what you what do you have going on here my name is Suzanne Walker I live in Uxbridge and we do this every year Monday out. So it says grab like grab bag win prizes. So all do all these things have some sort of prize in them, or is there like a rejection? No. <laughs> every every bag has sports cards in them, and some of the bags have a, a little sticker that would say you win a better prize, like a football or another like whole team set, or you know, better a better price prize. Now, is this your own little thing, or is this for charity? Actually, no, it's for my husband and my son. It was something they started when my son was nine. Oh, very cool. He's now twenty-seven, so <laughs> we just never stopped doing it. Very cool. Well, thank you very much for your time. So, uh, what's your name and what you got going on here? All right, uh, my name is Kyle Johnson, and uh, I own All Star Paintball. We have a live shooting booth, so we have live targets. Kyle Briggs is in there running around, you get to shoot him up. All right. Now, is this for charity or is this your own thing? Uh, this is like our own thing. We're trying to pr promote my field and my business, and uh, like I said, we have a team 
and uh, Kyle's on our team, and he currently plays and competes for paintball. Let's get this. Let's get. Let's, let's do this. So how much? Uh, Don't worry about it. Just come in. This is gonna help. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. All right, guys. Gonna give you a glass. All right. Look. Look. This styling right here. All right. All right. That's really good to uh, get your anger out and oh, stuff. Yeah. Wow, I like that. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Enjoy the day. Yeah, I have a field, you guys. Come down and check us out. All right. All right, so I'm here with Dan and... What's your name? Marnie. Marnie. So what do you guys got going on here? Well, this is uh, Black Lab Lounge, uh, just advertising for the restaurant. And, uh, now, I went to a couple of the meetings uh, for Oktoberfest, and I heard that you guys were thinking of doing maybe like a beer tasting or something. So uh, did that not work out? No, we were going to have the beer tent, but we didn't get to the town hall in time to get the permit, so. And I just Diggers, turned 21. Diggers, it's oh, it's yes. it's so, I'm here with David. So, how, so, have you been coming to Oktoberfest many years, or is this your first year? I've been here about, I've lived in Douglas for nine years, and have come probably every since, every year. So, you must obviously love it here if you come all the time. Yeah, it is kind of fun. Get to meet up with old friends. So, uh, oh yeah, definitely. So, what's your favorite thing about Oktoberfest? Just the amount of people that come in, and the business it brings to Douglas. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for your time. Have a good day. All right. So I'm here with John Menard, Keith Menard, Judith Bingham, Ethan Cruz, Jason. All right. And uh, what's your guys band's name? We're Garage Sale Picasso. Garage Sale Picasso. Now. I have to say you guys are the best band I've heard today. No lie. Um, so when did you guys first form? We formed in... Right before Oktoberfest. Right last before Oktoberfest last year, June 2010, uh, from a Craigslist ad. Really? And, um, so that's how you, all you guys met was the Craigslist ad? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, John and I had played in a band uh, previously, and um, we're brothers. And we're brothers, yeah. So you know, I guess we kind of know each other. And um, then uh, Ethan wound up joining that band because uh, a friend, a mutual friend, was playing drums and singing, and, and wanted, she wanted to just to sing. Drums. So she called me, and I joined up, and then she quit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, then we brought we brought Jason in, and we're like, oh, hey, this is really cool. Now we need a, a singer. And I saw an ad from Judith, who was looking for a band at the time on Craigslist. And, uh, and I'm like, hey, you have to come jam with us. And she's like, no. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm like, and he said, please, that really I, nice. Yeah. <laughs> she felt sorry for he him. Was, he was persistent, so. I was, I was persistent. So you're the bass player. Yes. How long have you been playing bass? Uh, I'm playing bass. I started playing bass for this project. Um, so a couple years now, two, three years. Any other instruments? Guitar and um, spoons. <laughs> and you're the lead uh, guitarist? We switch off. Switch yeah, off? We, we, we don't really More do rhythm. Lead, we don't do labels. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, we just, uh, whoever happens to, to start the song, the other person winds up playing lead or rhythm, and we just kind of go from there. So how long have you been playing guitar? Uh, since high school, so four or five years. <laughs> <laughs> how long have you been playing guitar? I'm almost frightened to say 20 years. Wow. And you're the drummer. I am the drummer. How long have you been doing drums? Um, since about 1995, so I don't know how long that is. 16. Thank you. Years. Yeah. <laughs> and how long have you been singing? Since I was three. So about three. ABC <laughs> and the ABCs. That's where I started. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys very much for Thanks. your time. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys for, uh, for coming out. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Thanks. It's just Garage Sale Picasso. All right. Yeah.